Cape Verde or Cabo Verde country profile. Capital, Pra. Official languages, Portuguese and recognized national languages Cape Verdean Creole. Religion, 85.3% Christianity, 77.3% Catholicism, 8.0% Other Christian, 10.8% No Religion and 3.9% Others. Government, Presidential Republic. Total area, 4,033 kilometers. Population colon 483,628. Currency, Cape Verdean Escudo. The Republic of Cabo Verde, is an archipelago and island country in the Central Atlantic Ocean, consisting of 10 volcanic islands with a combined land area of about 4,033 square kilometers. These islands lie between 600 and 850 kilometers, 320 and 460 nautical miles, west of Cap Verde, the westernmost point of continental Africa. The Cape Verde Islands form part of the Macaronesia ecoregion, along with the Azores, the Canary Islands, Madeira, and the Savage Isles. The Cape Verde archipelago was uninhabited until the 15th century, when Portuguese explorers discovered and colonized the islands, thus establishing the first European settlement in the tropics. Because the Cape Verde Islands were located in a convenient location to play a role in the Atlantic slave trade, Cape Verde became economically prosperous during the 16th and 17th centuries, attracting merchants, privateers, and pirates. It declined economically in the 19th century after the suppression of the Atlantic slave trade, and many of its inhabitants immigrated during that period. However, Cape Verde gradually recovered economically by becoming an important commercial center and useful stopover point along major shipping routes. In 1951, Cape Verde was incorporated as an overseas department of Portugal, but its inhabitants continued to campaign for independence which they achieved in 1975. Since the early 1990s, Cape Verde has been a stable representative democracy and has remained one of the most developed and democratic countries in Africa. Its population of around 483,628 is mostly of mixed African and European heritage, and predominantly Roman Catholic, reflecting the legacy of Portuguese rule. Lacking natural resources, its developing economy is mostly service-oriented, with a growing focus on tourism and foreign investment. Cape Verde is the third largest nesting site for loggerhead turtles. The only way to reach the tiny, barren island of Santa Luisa is by chartering a fishing boat from Calhau, on the east coast of São Vicente. Only half a million people live here, the majority on Santiago. It has many volcanoes, the highest of which is Pico do Fogu. Thousands of years ago, the island of Fogu rose from the sea in a volcanic eruption, its striking volcano, Pico do Fogu towering 2,829 meters over the island's landscape. Cape Verde boasts West Africa's highest standard of living, thanks to its stable political and economic system. This makes it a very safe, welcoming and friendly country to visit, just one of the reasons the archipelago is so popular with holidaymakers. The archipelago is perfect for water sports. From kite surfing and windsurfing to sailing and scuba diving, the island's range of water sports, primarily on Sal and Boa Vista, are a huge hook for tourists seeking an active holiday by the beach. Cachupa is the archipelago's national dish. This slow-cooked, hearty stew made with beans, corn kernels, vegetables and fish or meat, is a type of feijoada and is Portuguese in origin. There are actually more Cape Verdeans living outside of Cape Verde than there are on the islands themselves. The journey will take around two hours in each direction. Morna is the national music of Cabo Verde. The music is a Creole fusion of Portuguese, African, Brazilian and Cuban music which is reminiscent of the blues. The most famous Morna musician was singer Cesaria Evera who achieved global recognition for her work. 
In 1968, a ghost ship carrying the latest corks, moogs and Hammond organs was marooned off the Cabo Verde island of São Nicolau. The crew was nowhere to be found and the cargo was distributed to local schools. Overnight, a whole generation of young Cabo Verdeans gained access to the latest electric keyboards which inadvertently inspired the country's post-independence music explosion several years later. Cabo Verde has just one UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Cidad Velha, historic center of Ribera Grande. The town was the first European colonial outpost in the tropics and is famous for its remains including two churches, a royal fortress and pillory square with its ornate 16th century marble pillar. Grog is the national drink of Cabo Verde. The local spirit, similar to rum, is distilled from sugarcane and can have an alcohol rate of up to 43%. Cabo Verde has Africa's second highest level of press freedom, behind only Namibia. It is 27th overall. Cabo Verde is the African country most at risk of experiencing natural disasters according to the 2020 World Risk Report, compiled by the United Nations. It is ranked 11th overall. Cabo Verde is considered to be Africa's second most democratic country after Mauritius. It is ranked 32nd overall according to the Democracy Index compiled by the Economist Intelligence Unit. Cabo Verde's only indigenous mammal is the long-eared bat. All other mammal species, such as goats, rodents and monkeys, were introduced to the islands. In 2017, Cabo Verde announced its plans to be entirely powered by renewable energy by 2025, within just eight years. The plan is to use a system of solar, wind and energy storage to achieve the ambitious goal. Cabo Verde is considered to be one of the safest countries in the world to visit. It has been assessed as carrying an insignificant travel security risk. Like, share and subscribe to Sitter's Lifestyle.